Hey guys, this is Poppy Nice doing the three year 47,000 mile review on my 2017 F-150 STX. Only thing I've done to it this year, I did put a new set of Advantage TA radials by BF Goodrich. Hopefully they're better tires than what I had on it. I think it came with the hand cooked tires. Uh, haven't done a whole lot to the outside of the truck. You know, just uh, just mostly looks like a pretty stock truck. Uh, I did add remote start, so it you know in cold weather it would be easier to start. Sorry about being in the camera frame there, but uh, the way I got to adjust my camera so I can talk later, that's how I got to do. Anyway, let's get in the truck. Forty-seven thousand miles, three years, so. You can tell I really like driving the truck. I use the truck, you know, not so much for towing and stuff like that, but uh, for doing things like this, going to the dump, going to Lowe's, I have towed with the truck and it tows really, really well. I'm, I'm surprised how well it tows. By the way, this is my coronavirus beard and uh, I've been off work. I think five or six weeks. So I'm getting ready to go back next Monday. And uh, never thought I'd say this, but kind of excited. But at the same time, you know, when I retire in a couple of three years, I think I'm gonna really enjoy being a retired person. Let me get these prescription sunglasses back on so I can see while I drive. So what kind of trouble have I had out of the truck? Not the first problem. Now, I was, I'm really surprised at that because I was really worried about the EcoBoost engine. You know, all I had heard people say was, that's the worst engine Ford Motor Company's ever made, but I haven't found that to be so. I found it to be a very fast engine. I found it to have just loads of power and torque, you know, be running 25 mile an hour and get down on it and it spins the wheels over. Uh, it will jump up to 60 just like that. It's about as fast as any V8 out there on the market. I'm not going to say as fast, but I'll say it'll it'll run with them. I'll give it that. Uh, I never hear the turbo sound. I know a lot of people claim they do, or a lot of people may. Maybe they've just got better hearing than an old guy like me. But uh, I never seem to hear the turbochargers kick in. Sorry about that, had to kind of cross the four lane. Like I said, going to the dump. But the truck's been perfect. The only problem that I have had with the truck is on the driver's seat, the one I'm sitting in. Uh, on the left-hand side, the bolster is starting to wear real bad. I'm not all that worried about it because I am really thinking about ordering caskin uh, leather seat covers or leather seat and uh, trying to put them in myself I'm gonna do one at a time try to do the best job I can and eventually I'll have all the seats covered or hopefully anyway that's that's my plan uh, I'm still averaging 20.4 miles to a gallon on average and I always calculate or check it the other day I got 20.58 miles to a gallon and uh, it was all in town running. So no highway, you know, during this coronavirus thing, I have run to the stores and stuff like that, but not much more than that. Uh, the truck is very comfortable. That was the biggest reason I got rid of my old Toyota Tacoma and got this truck. The wife loves riding in it, the grandkids love riding in it. I can haul about anything I need to haul. I know five and a half foot bed doesn't sound all that impressive, but it's a very wide bed and anything I need to haul bigger than that, I guess I can just uh, that darn start stop thing. I hate that. That's one another thing, two things <laughs> that I hate about the truck is the seats and the stop start thing. Uh, maybe Ford picked up a few miles per gallon or not even a few miles, but maybe a tenth of a gallon with that. And I do know you can eliminate it. Uh, there's a stop start eliminator, but I'm just not crazy about somebody busting into the dash before they absolutely have to. 
So I'm staying away from that and just trying to remember to cut it off every time I drive. Usually, you know, I'll take off driving and it'll go off one time and then I'll just restart on stop and just cut it off then when I remember. It's just how I am. I have, I still like the truck absolutely as much as the first day I bought the truck. Like I said, no problems. Four wheel drive on it works flawlessly. It did a lot better with these uh, BF Goodrich tires in the snow than it did, uh, and we didn't have a lot of snow this year, so that wasn't a big problem. Um, the BF Goodrich tires really seemed to do good in the rain too. Of course, I really didn't have any problems out of the Hankook tires except one thing. I got three flats on uh, State Forestry roads, you know, the gravel roads, and I thought, ah, this, this has got to end. This has got to end. So I went out and, and, and got the BF Goodrich tires. Uh, maintenance, every 5,000 miles, I do a oil change. I use the Pennzoil Pure Platinum Oil, and hopefully, hopefully it's a very, very good oil. I'm hoping so anyway. I was always, a, I guess I was always a Havilene guy and wanted to run synthetic in this truck, being a turbo truck. And, you know, got all that stuff on it like the trucks do now. But I'm really trying to take care of the truck because the people I talk to out there that have more than, say, 100,000 miles on their EcoBoost engines, uh, they really do do a good job on oil changes. They keep up with them. I go back to the dealership and I always buy me a couple, three or four Motorcraft filters so I know that I'm not getting some fake filter from China. Probably the motorcrafts are built there too, but uh, at least hopefully I'm getting what the truck calls for by going to the Ford dealership. Uh, like I said, comfort the truck is awesome. It, 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 it's probably not the truck for everybody, I'll say that. Uh, and yeah, But if you don't do a lot of heavy towing, you know, it, it's an awesome truck. It'll, it'll carry. It'll carry a lot in the back. Um, it'll, this truck, I think this particular truck is rated to tow 7,000 pounds and I have towed probably around 5,500 pounds. Uh, fuel economy drops down to about 14 and a half miles to a gallon, which is still a little better than what I got with my V6 Tacoma when I towed. Of course, it was manual four wheel drive crew cab and just a base truck. Um, a lot of people think when you say that you really like your Ford truck, and I love it. I mean, if I was going to go buy a truck today and didn't have the money to buy a Ram Rebel or a Chevrolet High Country or a uh, F-150 Platinum, I would, I would definitely buy this truck again. Been really happy with it. And people, you know, people seem to think that when you say that, you're saying that everybody else's truck is a bad truck, and I'm absolutely not saying that. I think trucks are so good today that it doesn't matter if you buy an, a Nissan Titan, a Ram, an F-150, a Chevrolet Silverado, a Sierra, you know, a Tundra. It doesn't matter what you buy. I think you're going to get a very good truck, and and hopefully. Hopefully this is gonna be a great truck for many years down the road. Like I said, I'm really trying to take good care of it, trying to keep the paint looking nice, trying to keep all the mechanical stuff in order. I think an important thing, when something happens, you know, go get it fixed, go get it taken care of. And it's if it's something beyond what you can do, you know, find you, find you somebody that can do it and, and is good at it. Uh, <clears throat> I love the engine. I, I just can't say enough about it. It's quiet, it is fast, it is powerful, it really does good on fuel economy. Like I told y'all, usually I average about 20.4 miles to a gallon. In the winter that drops. Uh, on the highway, I have gotten over 23 miles to a gallon, but that was in a very, very flat area. Usually between Bluefield and Beckley, West Virginia on the turnpike, I would say I average about 21.8 miles to a gallon because there's not a flat thing about the West Virginia turnpike. Anybody that's ever been across it. Um, 
I just want you to know I've had great luck with the truck. I really have enjoyed it. I, you know, it's an XL, so I, basically it's a work truck. The STX package gives you some nice things, but uh, it's been a great truck. And uh, this is a three-year review. Like I said, I put 47,000 miles on it. Not a problem. Hopefully, that's an omen of, you know, the continued good service I'll get out of this truck. I, I sure hope it is. Um, but anyway, guys, hope all of you are staying safe. Hope all of you, you know, hope nobody out there has lost anybody that they love due to this darn virus. And uh, like I said, I go to work Monday, and I hopefully the world will be getting settled down again. Um, who knows? Who really knows? Uh, hopefully the economy will start picking up again. But I think we're Americans. I think we can do it. You know, this is the first time in my 57 years I've ever seen anything like this. So, anyway, guys, God bless you. And I always say, you could live without a truck, but who would want to? And I'm going to say this again. If, if you've got a truck that you love, and I, I don't care if it's, an, you know, an old Silverado and the fenders are flagging on it and uh, about to fall off of it. And... Uh, it's got 872,000 miles on it, and it burns a quart of oil every 500 miles. Throw up a video about the truck. Tell us the story about the truck. I love watching these videos. TFL has lately done owner videos. It's, uh, they're called I Love or Hate My Truck, and they are awesome videos. It's, and you find out what good people, really good people truck owners are. So anyway, guys, I hope this helps you if you're thinking about buying the 2.7 EcoBoost, and you do. I hope you absolutely have as good a luck out of your truck as I've had out of mine. I, I don't want to see anybody's truck do bad, but that's all. We'll talk at you later. Bye.